we've talked about all of the different primates that are out there, let's talk about how to format their scientific names correctly. This is something near and dear to my heart, but it's also really important within biology. Let's talk about what they are. We use something called binomial nomenclature. This was created in the 1700s by Carolus Linnaeus. Um, and what you can see here, bi means two names, Gnome is name. So we have these two names. We have a genus name and a species name. And this, here's our generic epithet and then our specific epithet. You might notice the formatting here. Both of them are italicized. We capitalize the genus name and the species name is lowercase. This is really important. Um, when you format a scientific name correctly, you are letting everyone know that you know what's up. You're in the know with what is going on about species. And when I see someone format a scientific name correctly, I am more likely to listen to the rest of what you have to say. If you don't format a name correctly, that is a pretty significant marker that you don't know what's going on about species in biology. Um, so this is very important academic code switching to tell the rest of us that you know what's up. So an example, is Homo sapiens, or you can see our cat up here. It is Felis catus. Let's look at a couple other examples. Here we have Tarsius tupara, the Seattle Island tarsier. This one has this really pretty white face going on. Then we have Pan paniscus, our bonobo. Um, and here we like Pan. There's other species within the genus Pan, but this one is specifically the species paniscus. Next, one of my favorites is the boa constrictor. This one is special because it is the only species where the common name and the scientific name are exactly the same. The reason we have these is it allows us to make sure we're um, talking about the same thing. There are so many different common names out there and different people will call species different things. It's honestly really cool to look at um, uh, different communities and the different names they use for the animals that naturally occur in their habitat. And again, make sure you format them correctly. This is how we code switch in biology and tell each other that we know what we're talking about. 